our radio seat is above, right above the 100s, and the it's above the sideline where the collision happens. Uh, and you guys know I usually post, and I might still post it. I gotta talk. We gotta have a council and decide. Yeah. But I usually post clips from radio, right. and so certainly the it's camera was rolling. It. Um, and our play by play last night actually called the foul <laughs> and then was like, oh, it wasn't called. I did not see it. I couldn't see from where I was. And at this point, I'm completely laying out because it's the final seconds of a ball game and you lay that out for your play by play to nail the call. Um, I think it's an unfortunate series of events. I think also the Knicks found a way. Two weeks ago, same thing happened. Not same thing, but yeah. similar happens yeah. Yeah. in Houston and it goes against the Knicks. Now, what makes last night interesting is there was no whistle for anything to be reviewed right as opposed to in houston i'm like if you're going to review it get it right and then folks are like well tibbs they use this challenge blah 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 i think it is unfortunate monty williams it was kind of funny in the pregame press conference someone locally asked him about this being a rebuild and he was joking but he deadpanned like he didn't mm. react mm. and the reporter turns beat red and then he was like oh i'm just kidding but in his mind, like, they are trying to win ball games, yeah. And so yeah. the frustration that you saw post game was sincere. Um, and I was talking to a couple of friends in the league, like they've caught a few nasty breaks late in games, and they're trying to win ball games. And so it's unfortunate. Um, we talked to Dante Divincenzo on the broadcast post game for the radio interview. There was no celebratory tone. Mm. It was very much relief. We need to be sharper. In fact, is what Dante told us. He did. Yeah. We got to lock in as we move forward. So. Um, you hate to see it, but obviously on this side, we're not going to get stuck because it happens. It, it happens. As you said, it just happened to to the Knicks in Houston. And it just speaks to the, the, the bang, bang nature of, of these games and the subjective nature of officiating. I don't think there's any, you know, silver bullet that can fix these things. I mean, refer the, the, the chief referee, James Williams, a.k.a. Gucci ref. <laughs> he was standing right there. It was right he in was. front of him. He was. That Listen, and I think I would. I'm going to push back on the word choice subjective and just go to the human nature, right? Yeah, Refs yeah. are human. And granted, they got a high profile job and you need them to be as tight as possible, but they are human. And so until we get AI robots out here that don't miss nothing, <laughs> you're going to be subjected to some of this. Hey, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Steve Ballmer is working on that. <laughs> you know, an independent review inside the Intuit Dome somewhere in there. <laughs> he's got the AI wired and high powered ready to go next year.